What's up fans of KDB back in the building with you another video. Uh, welcome to Mukbang Tuesdays. What can I say? So I'm going to be eating again for y'all. Um, but for today we're going to be doing a home cooked meal that mum B did. Um, she's just amazing. So um, yeah, welcome back to Mukbang Tuesdays guys. I'm just going to get straight into the details. Um, so mama B um oh so auntie b got this air fryer a couple weeks ago and we've barely used it but we have used it it's pretty interesting um interesting device um i really like it um sometimes the smell of the food just puts you off because it smells raw obviously it's going in you know no um water or anything it's just cooked by air yeah air fryer i guess but yeah so mom does some pork chops with gravy um, we have some salad. Disgusting! Um, chips. We have some garlic bread and we have some corn. I forgot to grab the butter, but you know what? I'm too lazy and corn tastes good either way. But yeah, so that's what's on the menu today. I'm starving. Um, I honestly just... Um, oh, also another thing. I'm back on day shift, guys. So I feel so much more energetic. Like usually when I come home after night shift, I just feel like just don't want to do jack. But, you know, this is only my first day back. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. But I feel amazing. Got a good workout in today. Um, just because it was hot. It was like 34 degrees today. Bloody hell. Definitely hot. But yeah, um, good sweat in today. And then I went for a walk, run, slash thing. And honestly, I've just gone black from there. Um, but yeah, I've just gone really dark, eh? But best run of my life. I love going for walks and runs when it's hot because you burn a lot more i guess but yeah so i'm starving um i got a maximus drink um by yours truly no i'm not sponsored at all of course but yeah goes down well um and i don't feel like water at the moment but let's just do a prayer and get straight into the mukbang fam damn i really didn't leave any conversation for the rest of the video <laughs> i literally just explained in the first two minutes but yeah oh actually let me show you guys a bit of video so video. the salad's sort of just not adding up with the rest of the plate but it is what it is would have thought we we're at lazy mo's or something i never take proper thumbnails okay now let's dig in oh man i was putting um because mum's going to pick up my uncle auntie b's already eaten um Man, when I was picking, scooping the pork chops off of the tray, I was just falling off the bone. Mm. And this is one thing I don't want to drop on the floor. It's good having home cooked meals. We don't really have um, home cooked meals much. We just eat out a lot. Oh, like we get a lot of takeaways. But we're changing for the better here. Oh my god. Mm. So if the aircon is too loud, it's just way too hot. Mm. It is a bit cold because I took like five hours trying to set up. And I was too lazy to go warm it up. But to me, I love food that's like cold. I don't know, probably because I'm so used to being lazy to warm it up. Oh my gosh. Look at that piece, guys. Mm. Looks like the bone marrow. Mm. Oh, we do have some marrow in there too. Oh, I love that. I'll save the marrow for last. Mm. Okay, let me try and not finish all the meat. Mm. I don't know why I put the salad on. What was I thinking? It's got some croutons, some avocado. Um, I think it's the um, mixed leaves with beetroot, carrot. Um, and I got a sauce. I can't remember what this. I think it's Caesar salad. No, it's not Caesar salad. I can't remember what the sauce is. I think it's typical salad. Thai dressing or something like that. I think that's what it is. Because mm -hmm. 
you guys really want to look at leaves. Mm. Yeah, I think it's tired dressing sauce or something like that. Something like that. Mm. Man, I could not sleep at all last night. The heat was just next level. And probably because I'm used to sleeping throughout the day, so like. I can usually sleep like a baby, but man, last night was just, we had the air going on, the fan going, but it was just too hot. And then I was paranoid because before we slept, I saw a spider. And I just kept thinking, waking up, that the spider's gonna like, a red back is gonna like, be right next to my face or crawl into my mouth or something like that. So that just added to me not being able to sleep properly. And then my alarm didn't go off. Which is, I set it for 4.30 a.m. for every day. But it doesn't even want to work. Unless it went off, but my mum turned it off. Or maybe I turned it off, like, without knowing. Man. Mmm. That would be great. Let me know what your guys' favourite flavour is if you guys drink this. I reckon mine's the red. I tried the blue one. It's alright. It tastes really like artificial, like fake in comparison to the red one. Let me try and get the salad out of the way. So I can eat the rest of the good stuff. How have you guys been? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know how you guys are doing. What you guys been up to lately? Any plans for Christmas? Um, without a doubt, we don't have any plans. Um, I'm working right through. I only have Christmas day off, so it's like no point planning anything. Um, so I'll probably just have a feed or something like that. Go be to see what happens. But yeah, we probably could have been travelling by now, but it is what it is. Oh my god. Talking about travelling, I've been really wanting to, um, well, I searched up on Google the other day, like, um, best places to visit or travel to. I saw this list and it was, um, it was just a list of places I want to mark off as I go. Um, in terms of New Zealand, I probably won't be going to Auckland. I'll probably want to um, travel the South Island. Just explore there. Because, you know, a lot of people in Australia, you know, here in Melbourne always ask me, Oh, what's New Zealand like? You know, what's the South Island like? And I'm like, no idea, you know. You can never live in a place for most of your life, but not know it at all, like, you know what I mean? So that I'm one of those people. So I really want to travel the South Island, um, Tokyo, um, Japan, Korea, um, Santorini, of course. It was just a lot of um, awesome places, and I'd love to mark them off one by one. But we'll see how that goes. I love to do vlogs there and stuff like that. But another thing is I also just want to relax when I'm over there and just explore, you know. Enjoy the time I have there. But it's good to get footage, you know, something to look back on. Um, but yeah, I just want to go places that, you know, not much of us islanders go to, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the typical NZ, Samoa. It's like, yeah, okay. Everyone goes there, like, you know what I mean? Every islander, of course. Mm -mm -mm. Let me have some of this corn. But yeah, I really want to travel. It's something I want to look into. Um, just to get out of the house too. I'm such a homebody, so sort of be like getting out of my comfort zone for me. But it's just the planning. It would be pretty scary. 
but then I also started thinking about wanting to study sometime soon so I was like I don't know so which one do you want to save up for travel or study which one but yeah so I'm still thinking now I'm 21 not getting any younger before I know it's time to have a family like time to settle down so I might as well get the ball rolling mm. love gold corn is always best when it's fresh like you know just cooked it Slap some butter on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I like small ones like this because sometimes the big ones just get too much. And I have like two corns and then I don't finish like one of them. Mm. You guys like my nails? I got them done like um last week. Tuesday, Wednesday. I was like, you know what? I wanna feel dolled up, you know what I mean? Plus it was on it was night shift too, so I was like, why don't I do this earlier since we don't do much heavy lifting and you know, all that on night shift. I could have just got it when we first started night shift. But now on day shift I'm sort of trying to be a bit careful because I'm scared that I'll break my actual nail. So we'll see if I file it down or just cut the whole thing off. But you know, that it wasn't cheap, man. I just got it last week. So I'm going to try and make it last and just be a lot more careful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It makes my hands look a little, a little less. Because I bite my nails and it just looks really like... Uh, it's nice, you know, to have my nails actually grow. Let them breathe, you know. No, they're not actually breathing, but guys, look. I might actually finish a mukbang. How surprising! Usually, when I home cook meals, I can eat like a lot. But talk about, we've been going out quite a lot recently. So on Saturday, um, me and my fans from work, um, shout out to Christine, Epic, and my auntie B. We all went to Highlands and Craigieburn. If you know where that is, um, here in Melbourne. Went to Highlands, had a nice um, dinner there. And then the next day, we went to Lazy Moe's and we had a big feast there. It was just, oh man, poor toilet. Yeah, so we had a big feast there. And then, so today is just nice to have a change in terms of home cooking. Um, yeah, just need a cut down on. Yeah, cut down on eating out a lot. Do you? I definitely, um, love to try um, cooking new things because for me I can't cook for a bath soapy I can cook rice you know the simple things um, I can cook like you know chicken and stuff like that um, in terms of seasonings and stuff I'm like pretty average but I'm not like you know seasoned must or anything like my cooking will be plain you know what I mean but I don't cook much so I haven't had the chance to upskill you know my amazing cooking skills or anything like that but 2021 here we come plus I guess we get to um save a bit more not eating takeout all the time but yeah oh.
Come on, take another drink. This might be the fastest mukbang I've ever done. This home cooked meal is the best. I was hoping this um tablecloth would last a while. I didn't. I thought it was like an actual tablecloth. Tablecloth. It's um it's ripping already. Like dang! I can't find the pink one that I've been using. Mum must have thrown it out. But <gasps> look at this. <gasps> no! I knew that was gonna happen. My cupboard's like. Are you gonna clean the crumbs from the other 50 mukbangs? We'll see. Oh my gosh, it's just falling apart. I recommend you guys get an air fryer. Um, you just time it. You put a timer on. It cooks. Voila. It probably uses a lot of power though. Just because it is an air fryer. But man, just... If you're too lazy to constantly keep an eye on it, this is good. Hmm. Usually by now, if I'm eating takeaways, I feel like really heavy. I feel so light, especially this dang pork. And the pork, I feel like it's beef. Garlic bread with some beetroot on top of it. Mm. Mm. I love the garlic bread that you get from Colts. I think it's La Famiglia or something like that. Tastes so good, man. Put it in the oven long enough. Mm. The crunch. You'll probably need to put more um, garlic butter on it just because it does taste a bit plain sometimes. But you get what you pay for, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm ready to conk out after this. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna get into this corn. I leave the last chop for last. Oh, it's lamb chop. Pork. And then I was like, is it beef? Is it done? Sorry guys, I meant lamb chops. Mm. We just started watching um, Parameda not long ago. I think it's called Parameda. It just premiered not too long ago. It's quite short. Um, I didn't get to watch it because I was setting this up. I'm sure it was only like five minutes and then it was finished. So the episodes are really short. Mm. Oh my god. One thing my B and I getting back into is um reading books. Um so thank you to Kamaya. Um, she posted on her story, Lani Went um, Young. Her books are just amazing, man. We discovered her with her Telesa series or trilogy. Oh, if you haven't read it, you gotta go read it. It's just, it just makes you feel all like, it made me feel like really like, I wanna love like this, you know what I'm saying? It's just, okay. it's just like, um, you just need to read it. It's it's part. It's the Telesa trilogy series. No, Telesa series. It's, it's an awesome read. Um, and all her other books we've decided to to buy thanks to Kamaya. She posted on her story of one of Lani Wint's um, books, and we're like, oh my gosh, we really needed to buy the books because we just love the books. It's something that we enjoyed reading as you know, as a mother daughter um, duo. We love her work. Um, we love. A good read and she's definitely one that you guys can check out so please check her out if you guys into that Telesa thing it is what it is you might as well go purchase the book hands but yeah i honestly love it if you guys um read books um suggest some books for all us to read i'd love to 
chicken melt. Um, I'll probably be more in depth of the type of books that we're into in the next video. Um, but yeah, it, I feel like these videos are just these types of books are close to home. You know, once we're warriors, that trilogy feels close to home. Um, Telesa, you know, Psalm One, of course. But yeah. Mm. I'm saving the Mary for last. Look how wobbly that looks. It's about to fall off. I feel like I can taste mint. I don't really like um, when there's mints in salads. Or like, um, say if you're getting like ramen or something like that. I hate it when they, oh no, um, ban me. Um, the rolls, the um, Vietnamese rolls, I hate it when they put mint in it. There's some places that don't have mint and then there's some that do. I usually include everything. Um, but it's usually the mint and coriander that sort of throw me off. Mm. And the spring onions, so basically just all the vegetables that they put inside it. But I love the pork Vietnamese rolls. Mm. I reckon my favourite that I've tried would have to be the one at Highlands in Craigieburn. Just because I used to go there after school or before school all the time. But yeah. Bone marrow. Oh, wrong side. Oh. Couldn't even taste it. It's like I swallowed it straight away. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hello! Big one. My mum's home. I'm just sucking out the oil. Mm. Oh man, I'm already finished. Okay, we need to cut down. Guys, you see it here first. I finished my plate. Can y'all believe that? But fams, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. It wasn't too much conversations, not too much interesting conversations. As you guys know, my life is pretty boring. All I do is stay home, work, stay home, watch K drama. At the moment, at the moment, I'm watching K drama. I can't remember what it's called, but um, but yeah, at the moment, I'm watching K drama. Um, but you. Yeah. Sorry about my family making noise outside. But yeah, K dramas the go for me and that's literally my life. But yeah. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe out there and if it's hot where you are, please keep hydrated. Um wear sunscreen and all that jazz and if you're where it's cold, make sure you're warm. Also keeping hydrated and all that jazz. And if you're on medium heat, well wait. Y'all don't need to complain about nothing. You good. But still keep hydrated and keep your sunscreen on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys are safe. Um, yeah. Other than that, fans, much love. Stay safe and see you guys on the next video. Bye.